I have with me a very, very special guest. And first of all, before I say who you are, can I thank you for taking the time to speak to us? Absolutely, that's fine. Now, there aren't many legends, true legends, in sport, in wheelchair basketball. This man is an absolute legend. His name is Simon Munn. How many Great Britain stroke England caps have you had, sir? Oh, caps. Um, I don't know hundreds i'm hundreds? afraid oh, yes absolutely i realized that yeah no no I, I i couldn't give you a figure i'm sorry but it's 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 in the hundreds why do you think and you may hate this question why do you think you've been so successful at wheelchair basketball uh, i have no idea all i know is that i have a passion for the game i love the game i love playing in uh, the big games um, and that's what keeps me going out training and um, yeah that's what keeps me involved really so what, I have no idea I don't what, know were you sporty before your accident yes exactly yeah I, I, I played all sorts of sports at school um, even to the extent of playing pub sport if any, anything was going on I was I, I wanted to play and I played football to a good standard um, roller skated I did everything how did you discover wheelchair basketball? When I had my accident when I was 22, there was a physio at, at my hospital in Milton Keynes and she was married at that time to a current um, GB player. And she pestered me to go and watch uh, wheelchair basketball at Stantonbury in, in Milton Keynes. So she wore me down and um, I went and watched and fell in love with it straight away because I, I, I love the contact and I, I didn't necessarily think you would get that sort of contact in a, in a disabled sport or a wheelchair sport. But when I saw them kicking the hell out of each other and just, I just thought it was fantastic. And I said, I said to myself, I've got to play that. And as soon as I started playing, oh, I wasn't much cop, but I, you know, I loved it. I loved playing the sport. And you turned out to be blooming well good at it. Oh, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. Um, I've done okay, yeah. How many medals have you won? And give me a breakdown if you can. Uh, in in GB? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I've done six Paralympics, which I've got a silver and two bronze. I've done six world championships, which I have two silvers and a bronze. I've done 11 Europeans, which I have three golds, three silver, and I don't recall how many bronze, but I have a fair few. That is a fair share of medals, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I've not got the big one at the Worlds or the Paralympics. And hopefully, maybe I have one more shot at the Paralympics. Does it bother you that probably half, if not three quarters of the nation, despite the fact that you've got all these medals, wouldn't know you if you were walking down the street? Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't bother me that, no. no. Not at all. No, not really. But would you not as long as my wife still recognises me and my mum and dad, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, and my children. Well, I've got some bad news on that front. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but would you not want the sport to have uh, the kind of... Absolutely. ...place in, in, in this, the psyche of the nation absolutely. that it deserves with the success that you've had? Yeah, absolutely I would. But um, I guess that's the sign of the times and, and it's always going to be like that, really, I, I guess. I don't... I don't know a reason I can't put my finger on it, but it, it's always been like that. It will always be like that. I, I'm not so sure it will change. Well, At Simon, the end of the day, we are a minority sport. So, You think you said you've got another one? Uh, I'm, I think I might have another one. Whether the coach thinks I have another yeah. one. You is, think you can make Rio? I think I can, yeah. Yes. Well, whether you do or not, can I say congratulations and thank you for all that you've done for A, for this sport, but for B for sport as a whole in okay. this country, you've been absolutely sensational. It's been a real pleasure to have this chat with you. Thank you very much. Uh, you're more than more than welcome. More than welcome.